In the United States, there's normally three companies out there that are responsible for monitoring credit scores and activity to report to all the major financial institutions out there. We're talking about TransUnion, Experian, and Equifax. And today we're gonna to be focusing on TransUnion. That's because on July 28, 2025, one of TransUnion's third-party database maintainers. Do what now? That's right, database folks, I'm picking on you. You see, TransUnion and their third-party database maintainer had roughly 4 million records attacked and compromised. And a lot of the information that was within those records falls under PII, Personally Identifiable Information, covered in Domain 2 of Security Plus. And that information contains full names, date of birth, unredacted social security numbers, phone numbers, email addresses, and even physical addresses. And a lot of that information in the wrong hands can result in common folks like us having our good name dragged through the mud for no reason whatsoever with identity theft. And that identity theft can result in us missing out on those big financial transactions and anything that has to do with a credit score, like getting a credit card or trying to finance a used car or even trying to buy a home. If somebody stolen your identity and does enough damage to it, it could even make us responsible for all their illegal activity. Now TransUnion has made efforts as of the last week of August to notify those roughly 4 million people if their data has been compromised or stolen. So you should be notified either by email or snail mail. But believe it or not, there is a solution that you can go ahead and take right now to help prevent your identity and credit information from being compromised or stolen. And that is two-factor authentication, which is covered in domain three of Security Plus. Also here on CBT Nuggets, basic security steps that you can take to make sure that if somebody's trying to log on to your online banking account, that a notification is sent to your cell phone, as an example. Because two-factor authentication works off of the principle of something you are, something you have, and something you know. Something you are being biometric, like a fingerprint. Something you have being an ID card or a CAC or something that you physically possess. And something you know being your password or more commonly a PIN. Using a combination of those two to be able to access any kind of resource, be it online or in person, allows us to be able to take an additional security step to prevent folks from being able to just use one of those three to be able to access any kind of information that we don't want them to, specifically credit information in this case. And it's always a good thing to be proactive as well. You can start by setting a complex password. See, there's a lot of folks out there that use basic passwords like password. And I just happen to be one of the ones here on CBT Nuggets to teach folks how to break common passwords. So don't use just regular password. Use something like two uppercase, two lowercase, two numbers, two funny characters, and make it somewhere between 10 and 14 characters long. Not something you can easily remember like a birthday. Because with the information that was compromised in this TransUnion database attack, your birthday is already exposed if you're one of the roughly 4 million people identified. And again, TransUnion will be notifying you rather quickly if your account or information was in fact compromised. But with information like full names, date of birth, uh, phone numbers, email addresses, social security numbers, addresses for physical places, don't use that kind of information in your password because it can be easily guessed since all that information has been exposed. But definitely keep up to date on everything as far as your own accounts and your own information, be it email, credit information, other financial transactions, and definitely check out some of the courses to help you be a better proactive security expert, be it personal or for your own business here on CBT Nuggets. I hope this has been informative for you. I'd like to thank you for viewing.